What's up guys, it's Mike again. Glad to have you guys back for another tech review. Today, we're gonna talk about the BenQ PD3420Q. So basically, this is a monitor that's designed for professional designers or specifically people who make digital content that need that color accuracy so that they can see all the details in their work. So whether you're a graphic designer, YouTuber, Instagrammer, photo editor, having a monitor that's color accurate is gonna be super useful for you. And I've been using this monitor myself for the past 30 days to edit my YouTube videos and Instagram photos. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how my experience was and by the way full disclosure to my audience they did send this monitor to me if you have charge for review but as always I don't get paid to say anything good or bad about it so if it sucks you'll definitely know about it and without further ado let's get right into the video so first we're gonna talk about the build quality when I first unboxed it there were three parts to put together there's the base plate which is made of solid metal it's really heavy duty and then there's the stand and then there's the monitor I do have to mention that the top of the stand which is connected to the monitor is made of plastic however when you connect all three together it actually feels pretty solid and it doesn't really matter and right away I was quite impressed with the stand because it can actually raise really high up to nine inches from the desk to the bottom of the monitor which is like 23 centimeters and for my desk setup I usually use a monitor arm to raise my monitors but in this case I did not have to use a monitor arm which is good because the other thing is that the base plate is pretty flat so it saves a lot of room as well you can put stuff on it and it's not gonna like take up space and the other thing is that the design of this monitor is very minimalistic and very industrial. It looks very simple all around and it doesn't even have a logo in the front. So when you put the monitor on any desk, it's going to make it look like it's a designer monitor or it like improves the look of your desk. And then as for the screen itself, it is a 34 inch wide IPS monitor with a QHD resolution and a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There's a lot more about the color and technical aspects of the screen that we'll talk about in a minute. But moving along, the the screen also acts as a hub because on the bottom of the screen there's a ton of ports there and for convenience they added these ports on the side as well so with all these ports if you do use the USB type C cable to connect to your device it is literally a one cable connection to all of these ports the other reason why it has all these ports is because the monitor also acts as a KVM switch meaning that if you're using two devices like two laptops or two computers you can switch between them and the peripherals at the same time without disconnecting anything you can simply switch between different different devices using the buttons on the back or by using the hotkey puck G2 that's provided with the monitor. So in terms of build quality, this monitor is really decked out and feature packed. I really have no complaints about it. Everything feels really premium, except for the speakers that are built into the screen. It sounds worse than my iPad and I don't know why they included it. So if you're a video editor, be prepared to use your headphones or get external speakers. Now onto the most important thing, the color accuracy. So this monitor actually comes pre-calibrated right out of the box. It even has a letter of like authenticity that it's been like calibrated professionally. So it's nice to know that it's ready to work right out of the box. There's not much setup involved. But I gotta say when I first used the monitor, I really did not know which profile to use because there were so many. But after a lot of research, sRGB, which is the one I normally work working was the best for what I do because it's like the standard for all digital content that you see on tablets and phones and basically just for anything that you create online that's the color space that I should use so that it helps me make sure that what I see in my content is what you guys see so on my hotkey controller over there I have my first shortcut key as dark room so that my images are still really sharp when I don't have much light around at night and then for number two I have the sRGB and the third shortcut is the low blue light and I use that at nighttime before I go to bed so that my sleep cycle isn't affected too much so having that controller is actually really convenient for me to switch between the three but the awesome thing about using this monitor to edit is that it covers hundred percent of the colors in sRGB and rec 709 and 98% of the colors in DCI-P3 and display 3 and like what does all this mean if you use a monitor that's not color accurate you might not see as much depth as much details it may look good to you like it's awesome but when you upload it and watch it on your phone or someone watches it on their tablet or whatever it looks completely different and that's like the nightmare for all of us content creators to like redo it to redo our masterpiece to re-upload so that would suck. So having a monitor with color accuracy that I can trust is really reassuring to me. And after using this monitor for a month to edit my videos and edit my photos on Instagram, I can really see that continuity from my final work being seen on like my wife's phone or someone else's device. It does relieve some of my anxiety that it's all gonna be the same. So that's something I really like. 
And the other thing is that this monitor does support HDR10, and that's awesome because YouTube is now allowing YouTube creators to upload HDR content, and it's viewable as HDR on YouTube. And the other thing is that it's also sweet to game in HDR and watch movies in HDR as well. But there is a slight limitation where the monitor's refresh rate is only 60 hertz, so this isn't gonna be the best for FPS gaming. The other thing you have to note is that this is like a QHD monitor, not a UHD, it's not 4K. But for video editing, I usually edit in 1080. And if you do edit in 4K, you don't need like to see all the resolution to edit color correctly. So the advantage of having a QHD monitor is that it's gonna be cheaper versus a 4K monitor. But I mean, if you're making actual movies where you need to see everything in super wide screen and you're always editing in 4K, a 4K monitor may be the way to go. But for many other people, I think QHD is gonna be fine because for me, working as a video editor for the past two years, I found that I prioritize the color accuracy first and then the resolution and then finally the refresh rate. So after using the monitor for my work, I can say that it's a pretty solid option. The build quality is amazing. It can do a lot or like more than what I need. I really tried to like nitpick and find flaws in it. The only thing that I can really complain about are the speakers. If they can take them out to make the monitor a bit cheaper, that would be awesome. And the other thing is that it is a QHD monitor. And I think that's the deciding factor whether or not you need the 4K. But for myself, my work on YouTube and Instagram and my workflow, this monitor has been awesome. Again, I love the build quality, the ergonomics, the ease of use, and just how wide the screen is. This is like three screens in one. I can have like three web pages going on, doing my research, scripting and all that. So that's awesome. And the screen is really uniform. There's no distortions anywhere. So I guess for like more architectural stuff, more graphic design, if you're working with like straight lines, this non-curved flat display is the one to go for. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this monitor? How important is color to you? And do you guys know of other monitors that are like this that I should check out and compare with? So make sure to comment below to let me know. And guys, if you like this video and if you wanna see more monitor or desk setup or tech videos, make sure to like like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to get the latest updates about my channel from YouTube. And that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.